Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing and how have you been since last week? I hope you're well and I hope that you have been holding up fine. So as for me, I am well and thank you for tuning in to a brand new video for this week. And uh, if you are new here, my name is Doreen Mura Moracha, a young woman living with HIV from Nairobi, Kenya. And I would like to ask you to kindly subscribe and join our family. I upload videos every Tuesdays and Fridays. However, I have lagged a little bit behind on the Tuesdays videos, but uh, don't worry. <laughs> I am still trying to figure a way around it, okay? So today I upload videos mostly about matters of health and most particularly sexual reproductive health and HIV related matters. So for today we are going to talk about T TB or tuberculosis and HIV and without wasting much time let us head straight into the video. The year 2019, 1.4 million people died of TB-related deaths, including 208,000 people who are actually living, who were living with HIV because they died. Worldwide, TB is one of the top 10 causes of death and the leading cause from a single infectious agent, okay? In 2019, an estimated 10 billion people contracted TB worldwide, 5.6 million men and 3.2 million women. TB is quite a pandemic on its own. Yeah, uh, TB is present in under 1.2 million children. Yeah, so TB is present in all countries and age groups, but TB is curable and preventable. Please let, let's not forget that. TB is very curable and preventable. In 2019, 1.2 million children fell ill with TB. Globally, children and adolescent TB is often, often overlooked by health providers and can be difficult to diagnose and treat. In 2019, the 30 high TB burden countries accounted for 87% new TB infections. Eight countries account for two thirds of the total, while India, leading the count, followed by Indonesia, China, the Philippines, Pakistan, Nigeria, Bangladesh and South Africa. Multidrug resistant TB, which is also called the MDR TB, remains a public health crisis and a health security threat. A global total of 206,000 people with MDR TB were detected and notified in 2019. So MDR TB is, I'm going to explain what MDR TB is in a few. Globally, TB incidence is falling at about 2% per year and between 2015 and 2019, the cumulative reduction was 9%. An estimated 60 million lives were saved through TB diagnosis and early treatment between 2000 and 2019. And ending the TB by 2030 is among the health targets of the United Nations SDGs. I am reading this from the WHO website because I needed a little bit of facts about TB and uh, how it affects people, okay? Both normal people and people living with HIV. Because for the longest time ever, TB has been associated highly with people living with HIV, but not only people living with HIV get it. Actually, everybody is prone to get TB. TB. <laughs> I just say TB. TB, okay? So, um, let us start with the symptoms. So how do the symptoms uh, start? There is coughing that lasts three or more weeks. So if you have a very persistent cough that does not seem to go away, please go and get screened for TB. Also, there's chest pain or difficulty in breathing and a lot of coughing, okay? However, there is TB that comes without coughing. So TB is well known for causing a distinctive cough. There are other types of TB in which individuals don't experience the symptom at all. Two types of the disease don't produce a cough. That is bone and joint TB and latent TB. So there are other forms of TB that do not actually come with the coughing symptoms, okay? 
So some uh, going back to the symptoms a little bit, we also have massive weight gain, weight loss. Sorry, like there is this weight loss that comes like it's it's very rapid. There is also night sweats, sweating a lot during the night. There is also um, I have forgotten that one. Uh, there's another one, another one, another one that is not coming. <laughs> Let me see. Let me check. Um, there is fever, fatigue, a lot of fatigue, uh, night sweat and chills. I've already said that. Loss of appetite. TB actually causes a lot of loss of appetite and uh, coughing up blood. Okay, I think those are the ones that I had not. Uh, Talked, okay. Uh -huh. So what are the causes of TB? TB is caused by bacteria that spreads from person to person through microscopic droplets released into the air. This can happen when someone with the untreated active form of TB coughs, speaks, sneezes, spits, laughs, or sings. Although TB is contagious, it's not easy to catch. You're more likely to get TB from someone you live with or work with than from a stranger. Most people with active TB who've had appropriate drug treatment for at least two weeks or longer are no longer contagious. So once you start TB treatment for more than two weeks, you are not contagious, okay? Uh, there are, uh, wait. There, there are two distinctions of TB. That is the latent TB. It's a condition where you have a TB infection, but the bacteria remain in your body in an inactive state and cause no symptoms. Lat latent TB, also called inactive, inactive. <laughs> Oh God, stop. Inactive TB or TB infection isn't contagious. It can turn into active TB. So treatment is important for the person with latent TB. And to help control the spread of TB, an estimated 2 billion people have latent TB. <laughs> okay, you know, I have never really gotten TB in my whole life of living with HIV. So do I have latent TB? <laughs> okay, so active TB is a condition which makes you sick. And in most cases, can spread to other others it can occur in the first few weeks after infection to the tb bacteria or it might occur years later okay so we have the issue how does hiv and tb actually relate uh, the number of cases of tb have increased over the years because of the spread of hiv the virus that causes hiv is the virus that causes it <laughs> What am I saying? Yeah, so um, infections with HIV suppresses the immune system, making it difficult for the body to control TB bacteria. TB is actually one of the most killer opportunistic infections among people living with HIV. And as a result, people with HIV are many times more likely to get TB, to, which progresses actually to the latent stage. Uh, and, and most of these people die. However, if treated early and diagnosed early and medication is uh, put, this person is put on medication, then they can actually continue living longer. Though the TB medication is a little bit harsh on the body because it comes with um, other side effects that sometimes are not very friendly to the person who is taking them. You can get your body fluids turning orange, like your sweat, your urine, and even your tears. They can turn into a very weird orange color. Uh, you also sweat a lot. Uh, you also seem to become very fatigued if you don't eat well so when you are on tb medication ensure that you eat well also please once you start tb medication don't stop continue taking your medication until you finish the dose the dose is six months long because tb as a as an infection eats everything in the body tb can eat your fingernails tb can eat your your brain tb can eat your eyes tb can when i say eat i don't mean like kukula in swahili but i say it lit, it's a virus that eats body parts that is what i don't know whether you understand me but it it's like it gets into different body parts and affects them in a way, okay? So the only part things that TB does not eat are the hair and the, the nails. 
but the rest of the body parts it is there it can come in any form it can even bring you a brain tumor basically so we have what you call the drug resistance tb or the mdr tb which is a major killer and is on the increase because it's a different kind of strain very hard to diagnose and uh, sometimes it does not come with the symptoms of tb uh, since the first antibiotics were used to fight tb are more than they are more than 60 years old okay so the tb germs have developed the ability to survive despite medication and that ability gets passed on to their descendants you know the reason why even hiv does not have a cure up until this moment is because the 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 the, t, the hiv germs keep mutating as the years go by so you find scientists have made a stride but then the the the, the virus itself has mutated and adopted to the current situation as years have gone by so that is the problem with living an a pandemic for so long or an infection for so long it ends up adapting to its environment which is one of the things that the tb uh virus or the germs have formed so they have learned to adopt and in this adoption they have managed to easily evade most of the it's how it's normally spread okay so a uh, drug resistant strains of tuberculosis emerge when an antibiotic fails to kill off all the bacteria it targets the surviving bacteria becomes resistant to this particular drug and frequently other antibiotics as well some tb bacteria have developed resistance to the most commonly used treatments and um some strains of some strains of tb have also developed resistance to drugs commonly used in tb treatment okay so the reason why we have mdr tb is because it's a multi drug resistance it knows that i'm going to be treated with this you know viruses are also smart so they know i am going to be treated with this and then they 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 they, they deform and become something else so it keeps on um evading scientists each and every time because it's very hard to actually understand how a virus works because it's not a human being okay so uh risk factors anyone can get tb but certain factors can increase your risk of the disease these in factors include a weakened immune system a healthy immune system often least successfully fights tb bacteria <laughs> but your body cannot mount an effective defense if your resistance is low so that is why when you're taking ARVs, ensure that you take your ARVs very faithfully in order for you not to have a low or a weakened immune system, okay? A number of diseases, conditions, and medications can weaken the immune system, including HIV and AIDS, it is the number one, diabetes, severe kidney disease, certain cancers, cancer treatments such as chemotherapy, drugs to prevent rejection of transplanted organs, some drugs used to treat uh, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn disease and psoriasis, malnutrition, very young or advanced aged, okay? So, um, some of the complications as I finish up. <laughs> Some of the complications that uh, can be caused with TB, uh, especially if it is left untreated, can be fatal. Untreated active disease, uh, active uh, TB, sorry, typically affects your lungs, but it can spread to other parts of your body through your bloodstream. Examples of TB complications are spinal pain, joint damage, swelling of the membranes membranes that cover your brain that is it tb can also cause meningitis i told you that tb can actually give you uh, a brain tumor uh, liver or kidney problems uh, this is also another side effect especially when you're taking the medication so even when you're not taking its medication it can still bring you this complication and heart disorders okay so how to prevent yourself from getting tb if you're living with hiv there's the tb uh, the anti-tb medication that we have been given i have not yet gathered the strength to take that medication <laughs> but i will i pray i will uh you can so ensure you take the medication it's six months long but it's worth it and it prevents you from getting tb uh also uh when you are on active treatment stay at home 
don't go to work or school or sleep in a room with other people during the first few weeks of treatment. Uh, ventilate the room. They always say ensure that if you have a TB patient or if you're a person who has TB, ensure that you're in a place that is ventilated. Even when you're in a matatu, it's better if you sit like maybe at the front with the driver so that you, there is enough air that, than the other back seats, okay? Uh, cover your mouth with tissue to every time you cough or sneeze or want to spit, okay? Wear a mask. I know right now during corona times you're being told to wear masks, but I think it's also necessary if you're a person who has TB. Also, very, very important, finish your entire course of medication. A lot of people living with TB start medication, not living with TB, but a lot of people affected or infected with TB don't finish their medication. Please finish your medication. It's not only good for you, it's also good for the people around you because TB is highly infectious, okay? So, and once you start feeling the symptoms, especially the extreme weight loss, that one is usually, and the, the, the sweating at night, those are usually very huge red flags that you might have TB. So go to the hospital, get checked, the tests are free. Uh, I don't know the cost of the medication though, but I know that the TB test, the gene expert test, most, of, most government facilities, they are free. So thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please, like, share, subscribe if you watch till, till this moment. I truly appreciate and thank you for the love that you people are showing me on social media who tell me you follow me on YouTube. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much and I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next week. Bye-bye.